there was an additional randomized phase three trial uh, presented um, uh, this year at San Antonio, and that was involving another drug with a novel mechanism of action called margituximab. Margituximab is essentially the same antibody as trastuzumab, meaning that it's a HER2-directed monoclonal, uh, but the difference is that several amino acids were changed in what's called the FC portion of the antibody. The FC portion is, is the part of the antibody that binds uh, to immune effector cells and is felt to mediate uh, the ability of trastuzumab or other HER2 monoclonals to activate NK cells to cause this immune effect called ADCC or antibody-dependent cellular cytotoxicity. There's also some suggestion that these antibodies can also activate T cells uh, against the cancer as well. And again, that's modified or that's modulated via these FC receptors. So the idea of margituximab was to change the FC receptor, uh, I'm sorry, the FC portion of the antibody so that it's able to activate uh, these NK cells and other immune effectors better. Uh, and so to test that, this trial looked at patients who had previously had HER2-directed therapy and randomized them uh, to either a chemotherapy of physician's choice with either standard of care trastuzumab or margituximab. Uh, and what was reported uh, at ASCO uh, earlier this year uh, was that those patients who got margituximab in chemotherapy had a modest but statistically significant improvement in progression-free survival uh, with the use of margituximab compared to trastuzumab. Uh, in this uh, analysis that was presented at San Antonio this year, this was updated. Uh, the progression-free survival benefit is still small but statistically significant, uh, but they also looked at an updated overall survival analysis as well. This is not statistically significant, but it does trend uh, towards uh, better overall survival with uh, margituximab compared to trastuzumab. Interestingly, uh, they looked at a subgroup of patients who have a specific genotype of their FC receptors. Uh, this is a genotype uh, that is less uh, able to bind to trastuzumab uh, to some extent. In fact, 86% of the population in this trial had this lower affinity FC receptor. Uh, which again in some studies has shown decreased benefit with trastuzumab. And in this study, in those patients with the low affinity receptors, the majority of patients, uh, there did seem to be somewhat more benefit of margituximab compared to trastuzumab. And that's fitting with the, you know, with the scientific data that, that, that underlied uh, the mechanism of action of margituximab. Somewhat surprisingly, in those patients who did not have the low affinity receptor, so roughly 15% of patients, it actually looked like trastuzumab was superior to margituximab. So uh, that was a little surprising. I'm not sure there's a clear uh, proposed mechanism for why trastuzumab would be better than margituximab in that group, but that's what was seen. It could be uh, an artifact of small numbers, only 69 patients were in that group, uh, but I think it requires further research. But certainly in those patients, uh, with the low affinity uh, FC receptor, it does look like margituximab could be uh, an improvement over standard trastuzumab-based chemotherapy. Fortunately, because trastuzumab and margituximab are so similar, margituximab does not add much in terms of toxicity. It has a very similar profile to uh, margituximab, I'm sorry, to trastuzumab. The one difference with margituximab, it does have somewhat higher rates of mild infusion reactions compared to trastuzumab. So I think this also could be uh, beneficial for patients, margituximab. Uh, in, um, I think there's also room for uh, improving upon the benefits of margituximab by combining it with other agents uh, that may stimulate the immune system, um, and it's my understanding that some of those studies are moving on as well.